Well, she should have expected it, but once, once the expectant came out, you, know, you couldn't suppress my cough. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> expectorant. I, I was just really hacking my way through. And, you know, a lot of times there were other judges, I can't remember their names, but they were fun to judge next to. And, um, but the, but sitting, it would be like doing this show from like seven in the morning to about one, one or two o'clock at night. It becomes really tiring to be fresh and, and on point. What I've if done people's programs like RuPaul, I, I did, I did a stint on RuPaul. That was fabulous. They treated us with, us with respect, not giving us hamburgers or, or McDonald's Whoppers for Christmas presents like Tyra would dole out to the crew. McDonald's Whoppers is Christmas presents. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. What if... <laughs> how hard I was working, I should have had a gold Rolex or something. You don't yeah. even eat No. Back to the waistline. What about, like, what's the worst thing, like, Tyra did to you or to someone else that you saw? Like, that she was really rude to some of the models. She was trying to be like me, but it was backfiring, and she came out, she came out really toxic. You know, I, what, why the models and the kids on my show, what they appreciated about me was I was the hard teacher saying, listen, it's not right. Uh, once on uh, one time in front of a model, I took my skirt out because she was a little pudgy. I said, here, if you can fit into this skirt, I'll stop my complaining. She actually did fit into it. She was just pudgy, tiny, tiny pudgy. And I said, you need to tighten that ass up and you need to start doing sit-ups and you need to start running to be able to get your body in, in, in tightened shape.